Now, for those of you thinking this uh, transgender, uh, half-man, half-woman sex offender in Scotland will sink Nicola Sturgeon, think again. She is a hardline Marxist. Marxists throughout history have never, ever relinquished power. They have had to be ostracised. They have had to be physically extracted from their positions of power. And it's the same with Nicola Sturgeon. She just seems to uh, slide through any controversy. And this one is no different either. Now, like many other lefty woke progressive politicians in this country, well, on this island anyway, uh, England, Scotland and Wales, she has no idea what a woman is. And she tied herself up in knots the other week when asked <laughs> about the half man, half woman uh, sex offender and whether or not... Uh, this person was a woman and whether or not this person should have been in a female prison. Now Rishi Sunak yesterday did an interview with Piers Morgan and Piers Morgan asked him what's a woman and he said it straight a woman is an adult female human. Now that statement isn't transphobic that statement is biological fact it's science it's true science not plague science it's just the way things are. So anyway, we Jimmy Cranky, Nicola Sturgeon was at the Scottish, uh, is it Assembly or the Senate building they got up there? Anyway, she was there being questioned about this and she said, <laughs> uh, same thing. Now I'm going to change a few words of a statement here because of the YouTube algorithm, but you get my drift. She said, and I quote, I think that sex offenders should be considered a sex offender. That is what I think. That individual has been convicted of sex offences and that therefore is the terminology. All right, she didn't say sex offence, she said the R word. Anyway, she went on. I'm not going to get into the individual circumstances of that particular individual's claims to be a woman because I don't have enough information for that. Now, there's a photo of this particular sex offender stood there with a suitcase ready to go to court to be sentenced to go to jail. And between this person's legs, there's a bulge. Now, I don't think that bulge is uh, a file to gnaw away at the prison bars to escape. I don't think it's a weapon. And I don't think it's a bottle of poison to commit suicide in the dock as they're being sentenced, as some prisoners have tried to do. And that bulge between this person's legs is nothing other than a cock. It's a penis. It's a member. It's an appendage. It's that bit you stick between a woman's legs to make babies or for pleasure. So at this point, that person she's talking about is a man dressed in women's clothing. I mean, I have a cock and I'm a man. Simply putting on a dress doesn't make me a woman. So what other bloody information does Nicola Sturgeon need? Someone who's higher educated, someone at the top of government here. And she hasn't got a fig she has no idea what a woman is. So what does she need? This is total lunacy. This is pandering to an ideology. That's what it is. It's pandering to an ideology. And so she goes on. But that individual has been convicted of serial sex offences. And that is the relevant consideration in terms of which prison they should be accommodated in. End quote. I mean, what a ridiculous statement for someone. A highly educated person. Someone who's been to university. Someone who's meant to be really intelligent. She is the top civil servant in Scotland, the top politician. She is the leader of a country and nation, and she has absolutely no idea what a woman is. And then later on during that parliamentary session, she uh, kind of succeeded by saying, my feeling is that is almost certainly the case. So the sex offender is not, in fact, transgender. But she didn't say it like that. It's politics talk isn't it? it's how politicians say stuff they beat around the bush so there we go nicola sturgeon still doesn't know what a woman is a male rapist is causing controversy in scotland over this and she can't tell if he's a man or a woman and she'll get voted back into power uh, as the scottish first minister at the next election because uh, I, I mean i don't know are the scottish uh, people voting for what they deserve i mean if you vote for this shit you vote for this marxist you deserve what she gives you. It's that simple. But if you have common sense and uh, you want to protect women and children, and for God's sakes, get rid of them. Vote Nicola Sturgeon out. Vote out every SNP 
uh, politician in, in whatever area you are and just reclaim Scotland and reclaim common sense. And that's that. That's my video. Hope you like. Let me know what you think in the comments. And until the next time, Roger Trout.